This video explains how to locate records in ProCare for either family accounts, employees, or vendors. And you have a universal setting in the configuration and system area we'll look at first. The search function for locating accounts works in conjunction with the default filters. So the default filters are set here in the regions and schools. And I'll go to the set options for the region. For each module, family data, employee data, or expenses and ledger, if you have that, you'll have a setting here for the default select filter, either to view visible vendors, for example, uh, visible employees, or visible accounts. You can change this to all accounts, all employees, or all vendors if you wish, or leave it set to visible accounts. Hidden accounts would not show in the list if you leave it as visible. Let's go to Family Data and Accounting and see how this would work. When we come into our families, we'll see all of the accounts listed on the left. The easiest way to locate an account is to simply type part of the account key, usually part of the last name of the payer on the account, in the account locator box. So in this box right at the top, if I type the letter A, for example, I'll only see accounts whose account key begins with the letter A. To see all of my accounts, I can backspace that out. My default filter is visible accounts, and I can tell that I am set to my default filter because the funnel here is blue. If I'd like to view all of my accounts, I can go into the filter and change to view all accounts, and then exit. When I exit, I've now set a filter different than the default, so the funnel turns red. Also, I can now see a hidden account here, the Jones account. This is a hidden account indicated by italics and by the grayed out light bulb. To return to my default filter, I just click the blue funnel with the red circle. Some other filter settings that you can look at here when you go into winnow out, if you will, or filter the database by certain criteria. You can choose account criteria or child criteria. And uh, an example here might be you're looking for only records for certain child tracking items. Um, we do have an item in here already for child forms, and we have one called health forms. You would probably check this box for a child whose health form has been turned in. This, for example, if I check that and click count, will tell us how many children meet that filter criteria. If I click OK and then exit, I'll be seeing only families and children who've got a check mark in that tracking category. And the tracking category for children is here, the tracking item, and here's our health form item checkboxed right there. I can also do the same thing in reverse. I can say for the child tracking, I'd like to see all children whose health form has not been checked. So I can choose this option on the right, not marked. I'd select my item and then say I'd like to see all children who are not marked for that item. I can get another count here and I'll see there's 19 children. If I click OK and exit from this screen, I'll, I will now see all of those families whose children do not have that health form checked. So you can do some pretty sophisticated filtering with the filter button. And something to know when you do a search using the search binoculars within a module, when you search for any of these data fields, if the record that you're looking for is not in the current filtered view, when you click Find, they will not show in the results list down at the bottom However, you do have a small box here for Show All, and if you check that, that will reveal any item. If you double-click it, you'll get a message that says, this is a filtered item, it's not in your current view. If you say yes to this, it will change your view. So I'll say yes, and that will change my view to view all accounts. I can tell because my filter has turned red, and I can go into the filter and I can see that I'm now viewing all accounts. You can search by any of the criteria in any module here. This will change depending on which module you're in. For example, if you're in the employee data payroll and you click search, you'll be searching by employee related information. And the same is true if you happen to have the expenses and ledger. When you're searching here, you're searching by vendor or contact information. And that's how to use the search in conjunction with filters in ProCare.